His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at al Safriya Palace the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the center's members on the occasion of the issuance of the Royal Order to restructure the board and hold its first meeting. His Majesty welcomed the attendees and hailed their competency and experience, wishing them success in performing their national task and continuing to spread the center's noble message and working to achieve its humanitarian goals of consolidating the values of peace, tolerance and coexistence and enhancing communication and dialogue between civilizations, cultures and religions. His Majesty appreciated the efforts of the previous members in this regard. His Majesty the King praised the important achievements made by the Center since its establishment, its good reputation and the global praise it receives. His Majesty affirms his continuous support of the Center's initiatives as a pioneering cultural edifice that reflects Bahrain's history of tolerance, peace and religious freedom. His Majesty also affirmed that Bahrain will remain a country that embraces a pluralism and a center for cultural convergence and religious and human coexistence, adding that it will continue its moderate and open approach to the world while preserving its authentic national constants and pillars. His Majesty said that it will continue spreading its message that calls for peace and bringing people together with different cultures and beliefs, which stems from its belief and commitment to the values of tolerance and harmony. For his part, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty and pardoned the Royal Trust and His Majesty's directives. He also commended His Majesty's continuous support of the Center's events and activities and briefed His Majesty the King on the Center's current and future plans. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty and bless him with lasting good health and grant him success in serving the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 6 of 2024, appointing an Assistant Under Secretary for Education at the Ministry of Education based on a proposal by the Minister of Education and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, Ibrahim Ali Abdurrahman Al Burshid shall be appointed as Assistant Under Secretary for Education at the Ministry of Education. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 2 of 2024, appointing two directors at the Ministry of Education based on a proposal by the Minister of Education. According to the edict, the following shall be appointed to the Ministry of Education. Nasreen Abdul Rida Ali, Director of Educational Operations, District 2. Amal Abdullah Khamis Al Kabi, Director of Educational Operations, District 4. 
Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for Women, CW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued Edict 2 of 2024 appointing Dalal Jassim Zayed as the member of the SCW in its eighth session according to Amiri Decree 44 of 2021 and its amendments regarding the number of the members of the SCW. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority GSA and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday met with His Highness the Father Amir Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani during His Highness's attendance to support Bahrain's national football team against its Japanese counterpart. The match was played in Al Thumayma Stadium in Doha in the round of 16th of the Asian Cup Finals. His Highness conveyed to His Highness the Father Emir the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty's wishes for good health, wellness and a long life. His Highness praised the depth of the strong fraternal relations between the two countries. He congratulated Qatar on its successful hosting of the AFC Asian Cup. His Highness Sheikh Khalid had attended the match between Bahrain and Japan in the presence of GSA Vice Chairman His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Cabinet Affairs Ministry's Under Secretary, BOC Vice President His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the President of Bahrain Football Association, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Vice President of BFA, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, GSA CEO Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, and BOC Secretary General Faris Al Kohiji. His Highness praised Bahrain's national team performance, expressing his appreciation for the efforts made by the players, the technical and administrative staff, the board of directors of the Bahrain Football Association, and the support of the fans. Sheikh Khalish wished them success in the remainder of the team's journey in the 2026 World Cup qualifiers and the upcoming competitions. Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa inaugurated the Green Southern Governorate event, which is organized by the Governorate in cooperation with the HR Directorate at the Interior Ministry in the presence of the Secretary General of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Niad, Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa stressed that Bahrain has a pioneering interest in the environmental and sustainable fields. Thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Governor appraised the keenness and interest of Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of Niyad Consultative Council Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa in supporting and sponsoring various environmental initiatives, noting Her Royal Highness's role in sustaining distinguished projects that contribute to increasing the green area. His Highness trusts the government's keenness to organize various environmental initiatives in cooperation with government entities and civil society institutions to serve community partnership and support the governorate's goals to consolidate societal values. He pointed out that the event comes within the framework of the governorate's efforts to promote the preservation and sustainability of the green environment. The President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, launched the Plat Map Service via the national portal Bahrain.bh. 
The launch was attended by the Information and E-Government Authority CEO and Real Estate Regulatory Authority CEO. The new service is the latest addition to the real estate services available to the platform, aimed at increasing efficiency and streamlining procedures. The launching comes in line with the government's plan 2023 to 2026 to provide quality and competitive government services. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning and Scan Bank held two workshops with presidents and officials of banks participating in the housing financing program and real estate development companies to discuss strengthening the partnership between the government and private sectors to provide housing services to citizens. The progress of the housing file in Bahrain over the past years focused on creativity and development in new projects and cooperation with private sector institutions and companies in the kingdom. This resulted in providing housing projects and accompanying services and implementation of the visions and aspirations of the leadership to quickly meet the needs of citizens for housing services. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning in cooperation with Iskan Bank worked to diversify the provision of housing services and facilities that contributed to advancing construction by involving relevant real estate and service companies which harnessed its efforts and technical administrative and logistical capabilities to meet the aspirations of citizens and housing services. The Ministry of Works announced completing 109 priority infrastructure projects during the year 2023, which included 64 road projects, 13 drainage projects and 32 buildings. The Ministry was keen to develop strategic projects, internal areas, urgent solutions, projects, rainwork drainage projects and sewage networks, in addition to operating and maintaining the sewage network and constructing and maintaining a number of buildings in various governorates. The Ministry continuously worked to harness the available capabilities and resources to modernize and develop infrastructure based on the government's program in line with development requirements to meet the aspirations of citizens and residents and achieve sustainable development goals. Within the framework of the Ministry of Interior's efforts to combat irregular employment and ensure compliance with the laws and conditions of Bahrain regarding residency, the General Directorate of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Evidence arrested 96 workers who violated the residency and work regulation. Eight of those arrested were wanted by the security forces in various cases. The directorate indicated that legal procedures are being taken regarding those arrested and referred to the public prosecution, noting that these campaigns are being organized permanently in various uh, governorates. It emphasized the role of community members in supporting the efforts of government agencies to stop these illegal practices and report any complaints related to irregular labor violations. <laughs> 